So far, DC's had a pretty interesting track record. Their solo films have been alright, but their collaboration films like Batman vs Superman, Suicide Squad, and Justice League, yeah, not so much. Let's see how this one does. Shazam! Shazam is directed by David F. Sandberg, and this one stars Zachary Levi, Mark Strong, among others. And basically, it follows this kid named Billy. He gets separated from his mother, and then eventually he ends up in a bunch of foster homes. And he's still trying to find his mother, and then he ends up in this one foster home with like five other foster children. And he doesn't really enjoy life too much because he really wants to find his mother. So he can't really enjoy life like everyone else in the family can. However, when he gets on, when he finds this like other world, I guess, he meets up with this wizard played by Jimon Hosu. And then eventually the wizard gives him this power and he becomes a superhero. So then he has to learn how to be a superhero but also be a good brother to his new adopted family. So let's talk about Shazam! So despite DC's track record, I was actually kind of looking forward to this movie because David F. Sandberg, he's done two horror films in the past, Lights Out and Annabelle Creation, both of which I thought were really good. So I was curious to see how this was going to work, and I'm very happy to say that David F. Sandberg delivers for sure on, on his superhero movie. This movie was a lot of fun and it was awesome to watch. Amazing experience. First of all, Zachary Levi, he pretty much carries the whole thing. He's very charismatic, he's very charming, he's got some really good humor, really good jokes, and he owns the role well. It, I mean, this movie is kind of like if Big, the movie Big, were a superhero film. So, basically, Zachary Levi has to act like a kid at the same time so and I think he really nails it he definitely pulls it off really well I also thought Mark Strong was good as the villain a lot of problems with the DC especially with the DCEU is the DCEU doesn't really have any great villains at all I mean some might say General Zod I thought he was okay but yeah like other than that there really haven't been many great villains in the DCEU. And I'm happy to say that Mark Strong is, while he's not the best villain, I do think he is a good villain. His motivation makes a lot more sense than the other villains, and his performance I thought was really good as well. So yeah, it's about time the DCEU got a decent villain, because it hasn't happened since Man of Steel came out in 2013. So yeah, it's nice to see that. But the best part of this movie, for sure, aside from Zachary Levi, are just just Shazam himself. Like, I thought he was absolutely awesome. Again, the jokes, I thought he was funny. Like, you don't see a lot of humor in DCEU movies. Aquaman had a little bit, but a lot of it was hit or miss. This, this movie definitely has the best humor of any DCEU film so far, by far. There are a lot of mo there are a lot of moments that had me dying laughing, and just a lot of moments that I was like, oh, that was clever. So, yeah, a lot of good jokes in this movie, and of course the action sequences and the battle sequences. They're some of the best the DCEU has to offer, especially this one battle sequence that takes place at a carnival. I thought that was awesome. It was really fun to watch, and then of course some of the like the whole family dynamic like Billy and his adopted family just the whole dynamic between all of them I thought was absolutely fantastic like it does start off slow in the beginning but then like it builds up it builds up you see how Billy's character grows you see how he changes and I thought they did a I thought David F. Sandberg did a really nice job with that and just I love the chemistry between all all the characters but yeah, if I had to pick a favorite for who, like my favorite of the other kids, I should say, like some might say Freddy because I mean he's kind of the, the guy that's like he's like the that best friend guy kind of, but if I had to pick a favorite, oh what, what was his name? 
Let's see, Mary was another good one, but I'd, I'd have to pick, like, the nerdy kid that plays video games. Like, in the beginning of the movie, you see him playing video games, and I thought that, I thought he was a hilarious character. The little girl was really good, too. Just all the characters, I thought, were really good. It's got a great dynamic between all of them, the whole family element. It's got good jokes, good fun action sequences, and I'm happy to say that this is the best movie in the DCEU so far. At least I think it is. On another thing, it's nice to see a final fight scene that isn't super overloaded with CGI. That's a, a huge problem with the other DCU films is the final fight is so overloaded with CGI and a lot of it's really bad looking. Like, at least with Avengers Infinity War, at least the CGI there looks really good. And the other DCU films, Justice League, Batman vs. Superman, Suicide Squad, Wonder Woman, like, all, although I guess Aquaman had pretty good CGI as well, that's probably, that's probably the other good one, but, yeah, like, Wonder Woman, Justice League, Batman v. Superman, Suicide Squad, the final fight sequences has some really bad CGI in all those movies. This movie has some, this movie doesn't rely as much on CGI, so it's nice to see that for a change. It's got CGI in it, of course. Like you, yeah, you have like all these like these big monster characters that the villain summons. But really, other than that, there's not really a whole lot of CGI in this movie, and I I like that a lot about this. Is and the CGI actually looks good in this movie for the most part as well. So yeah, it's nice to see that for a change. I do have two flaws with this movie. One of them is that the first 30 minutes or so of the movie, it can take a while to get to like the char to like any of the characters, because like all you see them do is like really go to school and they just like Billy is such a down character. It's hard it's hard to get into him at first, but I mean he does he does change for the better. So I mean it's nice to see that. And then the other flaw I have is you have these two characters in the movie. That are through that appear throughout the movie, and they're just there to be bullies. That's really all they're there for. They're your typical school bullies that you see in a lot of movies nowadays. And it's a huge problem with Hollywood is how they showcase schools. Like they have all these bullies. Like you can have a bully and then turn him into a good character. Like look at Sing Street or even the kid who would be king who came out that came out recently. But yeah, the bullies here, they're just there to be bullies. That's really it. Nothing to them at all. Overall, despite its flaws, I thought Shazam was a really fun movie. Really awesome. Had a fantastic time with it. And it's by far the best movie in the DCEU so far. I think it blows every other one out of the water. That's just me. But yeah, with all that being said, I'm going to give Shazam! A 90% certified fresh rating, that is a solid A. Alright, so there's my review of Shazam. Now let me let me know, have you guys seen it? What did you think about it? Make sure to let me know down in the comments below what you thought of it. And what's your favorite movie in the DCEU so far? Like I said, mine is Shazam. But what's yours? Make sure to let me know down in the comments below. And make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content to come in the future. Don't really know what's going to come up next, but make sure to subscribe anyway if you want to see more from me. And make sure to check out some of my other videos as well. But until next time, once again, my name is the California Cougar. And always remember to stay California cool. Peace.